My name is Frank J. Thornton, and it is my opinion that I probably started going to the Red Shield Boys Club in 1953. My elementary school was J. Andrew Bowler, which was located at 26th and Lee Street. And the club at that time was located in the 700 block of 25th Street, so they were in close proximity. The Red Shield Boys Club uh, didn't have any extraordinary activities and equipment, really. Uh, at that time, sadly, it was during the days of segregation. But um, I, I'm, I'm, I, I was really struck by how it has never been material sometimes, and it has been the people and the programs that they had and how that influenced all of us. I tend to always kind of look now at foundation and um, the Ratio Boys Club gave us young boys at the time a good foundation. And found, by foundation, I mean it gave us structure and discipline. And that's what young boys need. Plus it had activities. Uh, as I said, we didn't have that much equipment, but uh, we enjoyed what we had. We appreciated it. And it also taught us about life. I kind of just look now at the age I am now. I look at all the things that had to do with my foundation. So the Red Shield Boys Club was part of that. It came up during the, during the 50s and 60s, educationally. So at that time in Richmond, there were four high schools, two for whites and two for blacks. And um, one of the other things I think that helped my foundation was the education I got in my elementary and high school. Because what they taught us was to be the best all the time and we were foolish enough to believe it and so that had a lot to do with, with our later success and later adjustments to what other problems that we had there. What if I hadn't gone to the boys club? What if I hadn't gone to Armstrong High School? What if I hadn't had those teachers? What if I hadn't listened as well? And so that tells me so much of what could have happened. And um, it tells me also what did happen. And so that's a good paradigm to see that if you put a good program in place, you will get dividends from it. If I had to kind of say what are the main dynamics to help produce what I have today, I just have to say the Ratio Boys Club was part of that. And uh, that makes me proud. It makes me proud for the fact that that little building on 25th Street, didn't, as I said, didn't have much equipment. But what it did have inside of it was a type of uh, uh, atmosphere and ambiance where you could be someone and you were taught mostly positive things. Um, and that, that stays with you forever. And don't forget, um, with, with the problems that people of color had at that time, had all those problems, but that's a place you can get away from all of that and be safe and be around other people who were going somewhere. And of course, we uh, you know, saw a lot of things around us, all of that in the neighborhood, but uh, that was our safe haven. That's the other thing I like about it. I didn't know that word at that time, but it was a safe haven and part of the village. You know, it, it looked after us. So just like my teachers, I will forever hold in high esteem all of my teachers and the Red Shield Boys Club.